the biggest problem with the integrity of the elections was the uh, universal ballot, mm -hmm. the universal absentee ballots, where these counties were just mailing out ballots to people, and you know, just miraculously, there were there were people waiting uh, for the arrival of the, the the mailman at a lot of these uh, public housing units in the big cities, and they just had tremendous turnout uh, in these big cities in states like Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Arizona. Here's what I don't understand. The Republicans are supposed to be the party of patriotism. How is it patriotic to be sowing discourse in America's institution, one as important as our electorate, our election? Texas is king for the nonsense. And honestly, everything that worked in Harris County to increase voter participation, they saw that as a threat and they decided, wait a minute, we want to undo that. It's the convenience that frustrates them, right? This is when the working class is able to participate. Um, it's kind of like our tax systems, right? They only want to look out for a certain group of people when it comes to voting. It is absolutely ridiculous to believe that these people care about our country when they're trying to make Americans believe that our elections are not secure and safe. The reason they're behaving this way is because they know if more Americans participate, people that see the world like them will be unelected. Our colleagues object to guaranteeing the people's right to vote through the vehicle of a NASA bill, of all things. You know, a quarter century ago, Republicans changed Texas state law to permit astronauts to vote absentee from space. They want to make it easier to vote from space, and they want to make it harder to vote on Earth. In the last election, tens of thousands of citizens in Texas waited in line for six hours to vote. An astronaut on the International Space Station could have orbited planet Earth four times in the six hours that Texas forced some of its citizens to wait in line to vote. Across the country, it's voter suppression, GOP gerrymandering of our districts, right-wing court packing and judicial activism to destroy the Voting Rights Act in cases like Shelby County versus Holder and Brnovich, and deployment of the filibuster to block voting rights legislation. The whole matrix of GOP democracy suppression today. It's time to protect the right to vote here on Earth. If it takes a Nassau bill to do it, then I invite my GOP colleagues to boldly go where none of them have ever gone before, to planet Earth on a mission to defend the voting rights of the people. Why won't you just take your issues to the American people? Why are you trying to hide your plans that are connected to Trump's Project 2025 publicly, but then you come to the House floor and you bring this extreme MAGA Republican voter suppression bill that is part of the blueprint of Trump's Project 2025. You can't fool the American people. They're smarter than you think. You don't want to have a real debate about issues. Why? Because the extreme MAGA Republicans want to criminalize abortion care and impose a nationwide ban. They're trying to hide that now from the American people, stripping it from their convention platform. We know what you really want to do. These Bamas have no plans, none, to make America great, not at all. All they want to do is take it back to a time when only white people could vote. Listen to Comer talk about this idea that people were sitting around in housing projects in Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Arizona. This is a racist statement. Racist. Racist. Because absentee ballot has been around since the Civil War. Since the Civil War. It is not a new technology. And it is one of the most, if not the most, secure way to cast a ballot. But they would rather have people believe that it is unsecure and, and there's no integrity in it. And it's killing us, our democracy. But let me give you some fun facts. Notice how he named Pennsylvania, state that Trump lost. Notice how he named Georgia, a state that Trump lost. Playing on the idea that black people are sitting around being lazy, doing nothing in housing projects. But what this Bama won't tell you is a state that Donald Trump won, like Texas, has more housing projects than all three of those states combined and more people living in those projects than all of those states combined. So were those white people living in housing projects in Texas sitting around being lazy, waiting on ballots for Trump? 
No, I bet they weren't. And I wouldn't dare say that. But these idiots got us believing and destroying each other's idea of what America means and could be. Let's get serious about our politics and get people like Comer out of the scene. He's disgusting, Trump is, and all of MAGA for their racist, narrow, narrow views of what American elections are. I'm Mundell Robinson. Don't be fooled by the fools.